Dear students, in this module, I'm going to talk about the online resources that are available for visualizing the protein structures. You know that the alpha carbons that are there along the backbone of the protein can be utilized to construct the protein structure. The coordinates for these alpha carbons can be obtained from the PDB. So once you have obtained the PDB coordinates for each alpha carbon in a protein, you are ready to start constructing the backbone of the protein. You know that the alpha carbon is the uh, carbon which is positioned in the middle of nitrogen and beta carbon and has the side group attached on top as shown here. Now, you have to start by selecting a tool of your choice to visualize the coordinates for each alpha carbon in 3D. There are several online tools that are available free of cost as well as proprietary which you can use and view the protein structures. I will talk about some of them that are very useful especially for the classwork. Rasmo and Chime are simply two basic tools that you can use to construct the backbone in 3D. Then there is the Swiss model viewer. You can input your alpha carbons and it will plot the data for you. It works off a PDB file and therefore you don't have to type in the individual coordinates. Also, the Swiss PDB viewer, it allows you to view the surface of the protein as well as study their interactions. PyMole is another tool. So in this, you can have Python script that can be used to view the structure of the protein as well. C in 3D or simply C in 3D is a tool that you can uh, use by inputting the sequence of a protein or its PDB and it will give you the structure of the protein in 3D. Also it is very useful as it provides the annotation for the proteins. Here in this slide you can see a screenshot of the CN3D software. You can simply go to ncbi.nlm.nih.gov forward slash structure forward slash c in 3D. So you will view this uh, tool there. So you can also look at the 1D structure of proteins by looking at the 1D viewer of c in 3D. And you can see here there are multiple beta sheets and uh, alpha helices that are plotted along the backbone of the protein. Here is an example of using C in 3D for aligning two protein structures. So later we will also discuss that if you have a structure that you can visualize, can you compare it to another structure and then see the difference between the two. So C and 3D can also do this for you. So in conclusion, there are several tools that are available and are at your disposal for constructing the protein structures. It depends on your choice and your need for a specific tool and then you can employ it to the structure visualization. Also, the tools just for your review are RASMOL, Chime, Swiss PDB Viewer, CN3D and many others.